Hi guys, today it's a fun, it's another fun Monday. Um, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of those apes, AMC apes, who've been holding the stock. Today, AMC has been rocking it. Uh, to be honest, um, I myself is an AMC uh, shareholder. AMC is up 44.91%. Yoohoo! Let's go! Anyway, um, going back to the to uh, the main uh, stock I want to talk about, I want to talk about uh, the uh, NILE stock. So, sorry guys, I have to move my uh, screen to a different stock. So, Nile. So, Nile have been rocking it today. We were able to reach at 0 0.9945 uh, US, which is roughly 14.46%. Um, not quite the number that I was expecting today, but unfortunately, the uh, AMC stock have a huge run up. Um, Wallen stock. Uh, there's a lot of runners today, and I was expecting Nile to be, um, you know, uh, way more than 14%, but I'm still thankful that it went to at least 14, 14, 14 I mean, uh, we were uh, over, you know, a little bit over 10%, 14.46%, and in the after hours, we are currently up 6.88% of the time of this recording. So today, uh, I mean, uh, a couple of takeaways here. Uh, uh, Beat Nile Holdings uh, are, is uh, actually uh, announced today that it will pay off its senior secured notes this week. The 10% original issuance discount for Missouri notes were sold that were sold in uh, December are due to, are due and payable on March 31st, 2022. So that's good for the company. Um, like as we said before, the, the company itself have uh, three times uh, more assets than uh, what they currently owe. So, and this company is for me a uh, steal at the price that I first I uh, was first talking about it at fifty five cents. So, imagine uh, <laughs> uh, when I, I was first talking about it in the first video, it's just fifty five cents. So now it's ninety four point zero point ninety four five, which is a huge run up. Okay, although I wasn't able to buy at the price I was about to buy it, but um that's okay that's fine so a couple of takeaways from the price action today um are uh, we're able to, we are now sitting at the first resistance slash support which is uh 1.01 1 .01. i plotted it i plot i plotted this uh in my chart this morning 1.01 .01. so our next resistance will be uh one point three three one seven and the third resistance that I plotted is around one dollar and sixty eight cents so so if you notice here um, I have a demand zone right that I plotted this is where uh, the stock uh, stayed for quite a bit so this is my demand and su supply zone that uh, I created here um, but the, uh, we zoom out in the one uh, in the weekly chart uh, we are still in the upside. Uh, we're still uh, we still have that upward momentum, and we are underneath the stochastics channel, which is we are still on the verge of exploding. Just so you guys know, okay. On a daily chart, um, yeah, sorry, uh, my uh, laptop screen is quite a bit small, but. Still, we are still trending upwards on the daily chart, so uh, we are still expecting a huge, uh, you know, few dollars going to the upside before it starts swinging to the downside. But just so you guys know, it is a penny stock, so the swings is really, uh, you know, just uh, once of uh, 10 cents of swing, 20 cents, it's gonna give you a lot of percentage to the upside okay so if we zoom out uh so i uh i uh, actually made a downward pennant 
uh, that I uh, have drawn yesterday. Um, so it's this is in a daily chart, but uh, yeah, if we zoom out now, if uh, if we make it a little bit bigger, right? We make it a little bit bigger. Um, it has finally broken uh, out of that wedge. So this, so and that is a bullish indicator that the stock price is about to go up. Just once again, the stock price is about to go up, which is really good. And I think this is the price that we've been waiting for. Um, my price target for tomorrow is uh, at least uh, if uh, we'll be having good, pretty nice volume, we will, uh, I would like us to see uh, the stock uh, break uh, around $1.33 depending on the volume. Um, I'm not expecting the, the 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 price action to be lesser than what it is right now because, like I said, we just broke out of the wedge. So, um, if you guys notice, uh, we probably have the same chart with uh, AMC, GME. Um, uh, we on a weekly time frame, um, the uh, price uh, I mean uh, the price is just getting started off swinging to the upside and. Once again, uh, these prices with this kind of stock, yeah, um, keep this in mind that it is a steal. It is a steal to have this, uh, um, to have this kind of stock. Um, you know, to own this stock at uh, ninety-four cents, ninety-five cents a dollar. Okay, um, <clears throat> why did I say that in the first place? Uh, you have uh, a lot of uh, catalysts coming up for this stock. They are into real estate. They are into, uh, you know, they have turn on green and uh, they have a software company. And they also are, are, they are working with Bitcoin. So each time any of these companies give some good news, um, this stock will always go up it will keep on going up so like i said and uh todd Mint milton alt todd Mint milton alt right um uh, that guy is uh currently on podcast and uh he's always uh updating us what's the status of his company yesterday he was just tweeting about um it's good to sleep because the bitcoin is up and they're mining one bitcoin per, per, per day which is really cool um Short interest is uh, still increasing. It's uh, currently 9.37% of uh, short of free float. Um, like I said, this stock can easily go parabolic because this stock only has 74 million uh, available shares uh, uh, on uh, free float, right? So a very, uh, the, the float of this company is very small, okay? So today we ended the volume at around uh, 174.75 million and uh, our current, uh, you know, currently our average volume is 13.63 million, so which is really good. So we are like more than 10 times of the current average volume. If we see the same volume tomorrow, like I said, um, I'm expecting us to break above this one dollar and 33 cents uh, uh above this uh, one dollar uh, one dollar 33 cents uh first resistance and uh the one dollar and 68 cents is uh next hopefully we can get all those resistance and we can go go back to the supply and demand zone okay um Thank you very much for uh, staying with me today. Um, I was so happy that somebody is listening to my uh, stock price analysis with Nile. I love this stock. And uh, first, um, um, yeah, I really would like to keep this, but uh, in the in the in the short term, you know, based on the price action. I could probably come in and out because uh, I know how to read a chart now. I know how to read a chart. I've been following this YouTuber. Shout out to Trace Trades. Shout out to uh, Johnny Love. Um, I love these guys. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, we can. I can grow my Nile position. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, through momentum trading. Um, 
thank you for listening today and uh, see you guys in the next video.